Guns, and he's going to loan me his tuna gun. We're going to Mexico, we're going out to San Diego, heading to the Coronados Islands, and hopefully get into some big pelagics and some blue water in between. shop and I'm looking at all of his stuff and this is where he does his magic he builds his spear guns he makes surfboards and we're gonna tie some bands for my gun and my other gun and this is the gun that I'm borrowing So what's this thing about 65 inches, 68 inches long, hurrying in guns. It's got his trigger mechanisms. The really cool bottom line release handle. So now, tell me a little bit about how you make bands. I basically just call it Mako and have them make them for me. Well, you know, I could have done that, but you know, it's always come it's always fun to come down and shoot the shit with you. All of his guns. What's that? That's a dog clicker. Yeah. Yeah, it works great for yellowtail. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that on my wrist, man. <laughs> I keep it on my gun so I can see how the trigger's like all banged up. Yeah. That's from banging the tuna clip. Well, not tuna clip, but the shackle onto it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> Bill just pulls out a big old roll of rubber. Yeah. And there you go. So it's the same stuff. It's amber with a black yeah. jacket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway. You kind of want that because they um, the black keeps protects it a little bit, and um, but they can't control mix when they're making it with um, solid black. They okay. Can, they can only modify the mix while it's amber, so that lets them while they're dipping it change things that aren't you know you know for cure consistent change you know just it lets them change the mix. Mm -hmm. while they're making the product and they can't do that with black so once they roll out the amber then they dip it again in black well, they, just they a black it, coating they dip it a bunch of times and so as they're in the process if the temperature is changing and they're needing different cure times and stuff mm -hmm. they can change the cocktail okay interesting so what That's he's doing right now is he's measuring from the band slot to the shark fin kind of taking an average and then you Fold it in thirds. Take that in half because that's now. That's so. That's the actual length. Yeah. So that that is one, right now is one third of that length times two, one for each side. One for each side. And then I subtract four inches. For wishbones. For wishbones, and that gives you about three and a half to one ratio. Okay, yeah, 350%. Because it's 300%, you know, it's three to one doing that, and since you're subtracting that off the stretching side of the equation, even though the wishbone is static, mm -hmm. it gives, it tweaks the ratio a little bit. Well, you're subtracting four inches for this. Right. That doesn't stretch, yeah. but that's part of the- So you got the, the wishbone. The length, but since you, you could do it subtract this at a different point and it wouldn't give you as much reduction Snap. in band material yeah and so that makes your three to one ratio of just folding the tape into like closer to three and a half to one 
quick and easy. And so it's, you know, it's kind of, it's close enough for, to have, st <laughs> to have things that are forgiving that don't have to be exact compared mm -hmm. to things that have to be exact and need, it need, it only runs with exactly a, this length band and this and this. I'd rather have it to where it works with a range of power than. Yeah. I think my old bands that I was measuring out, my old 5 8 bands, they were 29 inches long. This is 27. So you're cutting them 27. Okay. And this is also, but this is also a thinner material. Yeah, it's thinner. It's 9 16 so My old can, bands were 5 8 And so you have a longer power stroke. And okay. so in the end, you're probably going to have more power than the thicker bands you were using. So the stretchiness of the bands at 9 16 are stretchier than 5 8 or no, easier the, to load it's the same just nobody can load them to that so people make them longer which right gives you a shorter power stroke which yeah. is kind of shooting yourself in the foot all around yeah with the 29 inch 5 8 bands i was giving myself chest compressions trying yeah. to load the gun are you doing three on this or uh i was going to actually do four but i might not use all four of them yeah. And this one, I've got it set up for three bands. Because my one, I almost entirely use three now. Oh. On the, On the, same the size. blue water, yeah, the blue twin. Yeah. Yeah. This is the blue twin. This is my 58 inch gun. Phil had the other blank. He made two blanks. He sold me one of them, and I built a gun. And then he made this water ballasted beauty. That's basically it. Cut the blank apart and only use the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He shaved it down and then added. No, I, no, I, I, I had it all laminated up and I cut the two sides off and just used the strip out of the center. <laughs> like, so it's basically a two by two. No, no, there's only an inch stringer inside the center of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, I don't know. You can't really see the. Uh... And I got to fix this. I'm going to have to flick, fix this slip tip. You can't really see the laminations, but there's two side laminations and three vertical laminations. It's basically that. There you go. Except without the foam. Yeah, with wooden stuff foam. There you go. So it's hollow in the middle. It allows water to enter it. And that water acts as a recoil absorber when you pull the trigger. It just makes it lighter out of the water. It's lighter out of the water. Oh. I like this. This is one of the guns that Phil showed me a long time ago. And it's an aim right handle. And he made the barrel. You made the barrel for this, right? Uh, I took their barrel and put an enclosed track on it. And, and wrapped it. And wrapped it with Kevlar. So it's, it's an aim right. But it's been super duper customized. Good God. He's got... So many guns. What is it? You got a sea sniper blank in here, yeah. man. <laughs> what happened here? Uh, it's the one I had Chris make for me. So how much you want for this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, it's one of my collection guns. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He doesn't even use he doesn't even use Neptonic Max, man. No. Nah. No, nah, yeah, he I, uses I, his own. I brought him down the piece of wood. I that's, what kind of wood is this? Yellow heart. Yeah, oh, okay. And so I brought him down a piece I wanted. Um, I just haven't, um, I need to sand it down. I'm not quite happy with the finish. Ah, uh, boo hoo. <laughs> it looks pretty good to me, dude. <laughs> and so I need to sand it back down and do it the way I want it. Yeah. And then bring it to him to go throw the track and stuff in. And then he puts everything else together. This is, this is, yeah. uh, yeah. yeah this is a, a sea sniper custom. This yeah. is a pro. Yeah. And then this little sweetie pie this is yellow heart again, I think, in the middle. Yeah. And it's got a, it's got your line wrap is on the side. No, that's just for that, um, that's for that bungee thing. Oh, this is the one, yeah, this is the one with the deep bungee track. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. So here's some, uh, some future fun stuff this is interesting it's bamboo yeah. and it's big it's actually not that heavy for bamboo this is uh 
Did you do the joints in this no, thing? No, it's like an engineered, you can buy it. That's oh, okay. Like, so you bought, yeah, engineered lumber, make a blank out yeah, of it. Yeah, somebody, a guy down south, gave it to me. That's pretty sweet. So it's like two by two. That's a that's a good size for a gun. Yeah. And then you get chopped all up and stuff. But. This one here is Paduke. Ow. Ooh. Just got a splinter. And this one sort of started. So Phil's got a whole ton of things going on that he hasn't even completed yet. No, never. So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just I know what you're doing, but yeah. tell tell the people that I'm just, don't know what you're doing I'm just what you're doing. I'm just tapering the ends of the bands a little bit. It's probably more of a cosmetic thing, but it keeps them from, when you tie the knot, from flaring out at the end. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know if it helps or hurts or what. But it's mostly it's, cosmetic, but yeah, I like it, it better. looks like a more finished job than if you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the, see, some of the wishbones are bigger, some of the wishbones are shorter. Yeah, I, I just cut them all the same. I'm just kind of harvesting these things right now. Yeah. So what kind of line do you like? I know you use, uh, what is that? Is that Dyneema or is that uh, Dacron? For your actual loops. I use Dacron, it's like a, um, it's a Bass Pro thing. I don't have any of the labels, but it's, um, it's like a 100 kilogram Dacron. It's kind of pre-waxed, it's a fishing line. This is what you're talking you're talking about this. Yeah. This is your like backing material on big game rods. No, and... it's no it's fishing line. Oh. That's this is straight to the leader? Uh I guess you could do it that way. There's well, yeah, yeah, to the leader. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was talking I was asking about the uh the actual loops. I think the loops are the no, loops are oh, spectra. No, the, yeah, the loops are spectra. Yeah. So back to these loops. Are those of an adequate nature that you can manage to shove them into the holes of that new band material? Uh, I think, now I figured out what that guy did. Super glue. Well, who? Oh, the, yeah, okay. Man, I got me, I got me a good Paduke splinter now. <laughs> <laughs> Messing around with your stuff, dude. So you're dipping those wishbone loops into uh alcohol. Oh, it's alcohol. Yeah. Okay. So it evaporates, it doesn't harm the rubber. Yeah, but super slippery. And it still slides in nice. So this little dealy right here, you're tying a double constrictor knot, which is basically uh okay, now you're getting me on my sailing knots. Uh it's a clove hitch. It's a clove hitch. Double clove hitch. You line them all up, and then you spit on it. Nope. Just tie it. Mm-hmm. Nice. And you line up all the wraps, and then you pull it with pliers. Yep. Double wrap around each needle nose. Look at this tiny little needle nose. Snip it. Done, ban. Done, ban. And then the metal. Flatten it out. Make the knot never slip. So, what the heck is this? This is a tuna float. I know what it is. It's a gannet float. Yeah. And here's the little inflaty. And I can use a bicycle pump. Yeah. And or I've got a foot pump yeah. that will fit oh, into yeah. this like a kayak type. Yeah. Uh, my wife's got an inflatable kayak. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but them. I got a short little bicycle pump that I might just. Yeah. Take with me because it'll stow in a bag nicely. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah. Look at that. Soft float yep. packs and stows nicely. It's not one of your big old tuna boards. Yeah. But that thing, what Probably is that, like two, two atmosphere, three atmosphere? Yeah, it's a two atmosphere. I don't, I don't, but 
Where are your big tuna boards? Well, my it's my tuna boards aren't that big. Well, when you use a kelp carrot all the time up north, uh, anything is big. So this is the big hard float. It's a little tough to stow. Yeah. Which... But this thing still has the same flotation as this. No. More? Less? This, okay. this, this is 100 pound. This is 30 pound. Oh, okay. Okay. Tell me again about this gun. So, just a normal. Load it up. Big mid handle. You go. It's a bottom line release. Yeah. How many wraps? What kind of range are you Two. looking at? Uh, I think it's like from your hand, it's 25, 30 feet. Oh, okay. So, yeah. it depends on how you measure distance. Cool. You know, a lot of people measure it from the muzzle now, so it's like 20 feet from the muzzle. So what's this sweet little piece of hardware right here? It's a bungee float line from JBL. This is a JBL, so it stretches? Yeah, so it's, it's a 100 foot line and it stretches to 200. What do they call it? The uh, sea vine. Too. Sea vine, that's what it is, the kelp thing or yeah. sea vine, there you go. So I can just slide this kelp carrot off the end? No, you just clip. Oh, and just run the, yeah. the gannet behind it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just go right to that. So then, just go take the shackle and shackle that to that. Shackle goes to your loop of uh, spectra. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. Right to the spectra. Yep. Nothing really clinking against the gun. Yep. Nice and quiet. I don't. One thing, thing to remember is. Yeah. How do you rig that cable? Do that. Under tight bands. It'll cut the bands. Cut off. the bands. So you just barely tuck it under like that. It'll under the be, last band, the yeah. closest band well, to the Well, whatever, mac. any band you can get under. Okay. So really, after I load them all, just one of the bands, I kind of roll back, and you just want it just barely tucked under there, and you want to make sure that... But the, don't bury the tip underneath, right. and don't wrap it around, because yeah, when tangle. you pull the trigger, you got a tangle, and you got cut bands. Well, just the shaft's going out faster than the bands are coming back, so are relaxing. The yeah, this cable off. will just slice it, so... Yeah, and don't... Um, you know, with bomb line releases, you don't, this, the tighter you, you make the line. You wrap it from the back forward, Well, the tighter right? you make the line, no, you don't have to do that, but the tighter you make the line, the harder the trigger pull gets. Okay, yeah. So don't yeah. torque down the line or else your trigger pull is going to get heavy. So you don't necessarily recommend wrapping from back forward? No, you don't have to. Okay, so it's not going to end up being a big old knot of no, it's, ball it's, when it, when, when, as it, long, when everything releases. As long as this line comes in a straight line to there you're okay. good if you do that what did you just do there so see you how now it crosses. oh yeah it crosses so see how now you have a half hitch yeah yeah will... basically you've tied a knot right there well you now all these loops have to come out and they all tie a knot around that until it yanks it off so hmm. if you if that line is a straight line coming back now right straight back to to the pig the tail. plug yeah, the then, breakaway plug. Then everything pops off fine. Cool. Sweet, dude. That's it. Nice. That's Phil Haranen, <laughs> HaranenCustomSpearGuns.com. If you want a custom spear gun from you, what did you say? Two Couple years? years? Couple <laughs> years? <laughs> yeah. True Waterman, Phil Haranen, thank you for your time. Sure thing. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> Next time on SVRO.